I updated my little application. I wanted to show you the new features that I have. So the first one is that these lists are now sortable. Someone help me create a control that does that so I can sort by entity, by network. But more importantly, you can come in here and sort by the commentary. So here you have um, a good property plan equipment breakdown, details breakdown. Um, Okay, so the next thing that I did is I added the ability to look at the structure of the XBRL. So I'm trying to avoid adding XBRL specific features to this, but um, this is not that obtrusive. So um, the next thing that I added is I can actually again this is a totally XBRL feature but I can look at all these things um, with the rendering or the model structure and again you have the same ability to click and look at the information I can view the actual fact table Again, these are all provided by XBRL Cloud. I didn't build any of this, I'm just using it. Or you can view the SEC preview. And their little dialogue, which I don't find very helpful. But I want to focus on the renderings. The next thing that I added is the ability to view multiple sets. So here I have loaded a demo set of disclosures. This is my set of disclosures that disclosures that I have reviewed. I click on that, you can watch the progress bar. I've added that, or I've actually moved it. Um, and then it, here is a list of disclosures that is provided in that set. So, for example, there's the balance sheet. You click on any of the balance sheets, and you will view a balance sheet. Hmm, I wonder. Oh, there. Oh, I see what's going on. Um, the next thing I added was I added a whole bunch of more metadata. So here, this is all topics, all disclosures. So basically, this is a lot of stuff. And it's not organized by topic yet, but all these disclosures are there. That's a very, very long list. Every disclosure. Now, each of these disclosures, it says here uh, accrued liabilities text block 444. There are 444 disclosures. However, I only added 25 um, for each of these um, because I've not reviewed these. And I also don't want to necessarily give away stuff that's valuable, really, really valuable. This is valuable, but uh, the metadata, I'm seeing it as extremely valuable. Um, so this is particularly interesting. Dynamic list of disclosures. So I organized this. And I'm fiddling around with this, and I'm going to use this for some demos. So you can see this is a very easy or a more readable list. Um, and each of these is reviewed. 
So here, um, oops, sorry, click on the income statement. Okay, I'm not sure what was going on. I can't see. So there is the income statement. I'm sorry, the cash flow statement. Um, and you can still do the things where you um, click and look at the information. The final thing is that there's a bunch of um, usability issues that were fixed. So here, this, sl this uh, screen splitter works better and it's just cleaner I can you can you can maximize and minimize the application um, and let's just call let's call, just call that good